good everyone my name is graphics today we'll be looking at a topic in technical drawing which is called link mechanism now i want to consider this figure which has a crank which is oc crank is the rolling part which is like your motor right now your crank as it rolls rotates in a clockwise manner what happened it moved this connecting rod in an horizontal manner like forward backward going this direction this direction this way back front and back right in a linear manner now this move in a circular motion this go in a word transitional motion now we're now asked to look find the local p and look at the parts at which p is going to form as this um, crank rotate clockwise and as this part here this um, pivot joint moves in a linear manner so what you do here is to first of all draw your crank right so what you do is you draw your horizontal and um, you draw your horizontal line right and you draw your vertical line also this way you draw a vertical line this way, this direction. Now this is where both of those lines meet, right? Now we are told, according to what the figure is saying, that the crank is 35 mm and the crank is what? OC. OC is the crank. The radius of the crank is OC and it is what? 35 mm. So we are going to measure 35 millimeter on our meter rule from zero here. Then we have 3.5 here, and I'll come to this point where they meet. This is my point O, and I'll draw my circle, which I'm going to thicken. So I'm going to thicken it. So this part where they meet is my point what? Point O. Now the next thing I'll do, we're now told that the angle. At which this crank, this um, connecting rod is connected, is at an angle of what, 45 degree. So what I will do is, I will just take my set square. I'm going to place it on my T square, and I'm going to draw an angle of what, 45 degree, because this edge of my T square, my set square is called 45. So that will be my what, OC. Right. Now we are now told that. The point C is from C to R or C to P. The connecting rod is what? 120 millimeter. That is CR because it's the connecting rod. 120. So I'm going to measure 120 on my meter rule, which will be from, um, from zero here, from zero to 120 here. This is what we're having and I'll place it on C and I'm going to strike on that horizontal line so that point I strike will give me my point R right so so I'm going to join this to C like this that is my CR and the next thing will be CP CP 60 so half of it so I'm going to measure from here to this point which is CP and that will be 60 here that will be my P here that is okay so CP is that now I'll free and we are told it is going in a clockwise manner so I can just place my compass at the center here and I'll just draw this at this point here make sure that it is going in a clockwise manner Doing that, this is clockwise. Doing that, now we've done everything we ought to draw, but now we need to see what will happen if this point C moves around the circle. How, what part will P form? So, uh, since it is 45 degree, the only thing we can divide our circle with is with our, our, your 45 degree set square. You cannot use your 60 or your 30 since you are already starting with what? 45 degree. Now, with the help of my T square, I'm going to place my set square on it and I'll move it. I've already gotten this, right? So I'll complete the rest. Right? 
can see then I'll go move it again I'll do for this right so if this is we're going clockwise if this is C this will be C1 this will be C2 this will be C3 C4 C5 C6 C7 right so I've divided into eight parts now the thing is, I'm going to repeat the same thing I did for point C in every point. I will, since I have C arrow here, I will add C arrow to every point. What I mean is this. If I take C arrow here, from here to here is C arrow. As you can see, C arrow. I will place it at C1. And I'm going to strike. Right? So, let me just do that at this point. I'm going to strike it there. So this will be my arrow one. Right? And from C1, I'll measure another CP, which is what? 60. So I'll measure another CP, which is 60. So from 1 to 7 is 60. So I'm going to call it P1. Now the same thing too I'll do C2 with the same measurement of C arrow here. I'll come to C2. I'm going to strike again. Right? So I'll move it. We're going to meet at the same point. I'm using my faint line. So I'm going to measure P again, which is what? 60. So from this point. I'm going to measure 1 to 7 and that will be my P2 I'll come again the same measurement C3 I'll strike on this horizontal platform here horizontal plane and I'm going to join C3 from here to here and I'm going to measure CP which is 60 so I'll start from zero here on C3. So I'm going to look for my P. So this is what we're having. So this is it. And this is 60 here. Zero to six is 60. So I'll call it P3. I'll do the same thing. I'll go to C4. Use it here. Mark on the horizontal. And I'll be having this will be R1, here will be my R2, right, so from C4, with the same radius, I'll mark here, this is my P4 here, so I'll connect the P4 to that point. So I'll measure 60 also, which is CP. So I'm going to be having um, P4. This is my arrow 4 here. This is my arrow 2, arrow 1. And this will be. So we'll move forward. The next thing we'll do is to go to C5 with the same radius. I mark on the horizontal point here. And that will be my arrow 5. Right? So I'll measure my half of it, which is P. To 0 to 6 is 60. So I've got my P, so I'll call it P5. The next thing with the same radius of C arrow also go to C6. I'll mark so that will be on this point here. So I'll move it to this point. So I'll take my half, which is 60 CP. So this will be 60 here. So I'll call it. P6, right? Here will be R6. Are we good? 
here is R and R3 together. Now the next thing we we'll do, go to the same regions on seven. Seven is on two. So at that point, I'll be having my arrow seven on arrow two. So from here, I'll join it together. I'll take half of it, which is CP, and that will be 60. So I'll call it P7. Right? So this is L3 here. And uh, here. And it's here, yeah, let's see. Let's proceed. Now I've already joined, got in all the locals, so I'm going to join these points together. With the help of my French calls. So if I should do that, I will should just um, take the point P together, this P here and this P here. So I should be able to join this P. This one. So join the P together. And I'll come here also. I'm joining them together. Two. We're going to join them together. So, this is the locus of P, the part at which P will form as it moves, as this crank goes in a, a clockwise manner. So, this is the part that P will form. So, thanks for watching. We'll meet in our next video.